Hey guys, Best Week here bringing you guys a brand new episode of Little Tips. This episode is going to be focused on knowing when to carry and knowing how to play your part even if you're not the carry on the team, okay? So this episode, like I said, I earned this game. Sorry, I'm playing Caitlyn AD carry, but I'm not doing any of the carrying. You know, I'll say I have a bad score at the end, but that's not because, like, yes, I played bad, but it's because I learned how to play my role. You know, I had a really fed Irelia in this game, and uh, I kind of just played my role. So this first clip here... It's just kind of a mid push because we were losing bot lane really hard. So the first thing I did, I was like, hey, I'm a Caitlyn. I can shove blades pretty fast. I have the ability to take down towers pretty fast. I'm like, hey, let's shove mid. So my team and I go up mid lane and we do eventually get an inhibitor off this push. But like I said, this gameplay, it's not focused around how to carry. It's kind of a, like, like, like I said, the skill is kind of a special skill because it's not, you don't always have to, uh, carry your games to make it through solo queue right you have to sometimes know when it's okay to be carried or when to let your someone else do the carrying and just kind of play a supportive role you'll see throughout this gameplay i make a lot of decisions i normally wouldn't make or i do a lot of things i normally wouldn't do but i do it because i'm like it's gonna help my team win so that's kind of like what it is all about you know yes kda matters and such but if you're getting the win over the loss it's obviously a lot better so anyways though we get the inhib off this push everything's going pretty good uh, i know that uh our Aurelia, like I said, is pretty fed, and our E does get pretty fed near the end of the game as well. And yeah, so we just got the mid and hit for like a bunch of kills, and all their enemy team got was the bot lane outer towers and inner, inner tower, and then the top lane outer tower. So it's like a pretty good trade when you look at it in retrospect, and we keep getting kills. And off that one, um, uh, what's it called? The inhib. We get also a dragon, so you can see our team's taking the dragon now. Like I said, using that advan that to our advantage, it's a 15 minute inhibitor, I believe it was, if I can remember correctly. So it's about 15 and a half minutes that we got the inhibitor, so that's pretty big. And even off after that dragon, we also get a bot lane tower. So we get our bot lane tower, so that's already, you know, the three bid towers and the inhib for a bot lane tower, plus a few kills. Like, that's a pretty good trade off. And then we also, after that, get a top lane tower as well once I once we fail a fight down bot. But that's besides the point. Like I said, the main idea of this is that so far this game, yes, my score looks awful. But I've been doing my part. I've been pushing towers. And I've just been kind of using that as that to our advantage. The next clip is actually really, it's a good play in the sense that, yes, I will die here eventually to a Zed. But my team, they're forcing Baron. And I think he even types in chat, like, keep him occupied, Caitlyn, you know, keep him busy. So uh, I normally wouldn't shove up this far if I ever saw a Z. Like right here, I'll see a Z, and then normally I would back off right now. But I decided to walk in a little bit more, see if I can maybe bait him in, which I did. And then yes, I do die here, but he burns everything on me: his flash, his ultimate, and maybe the, the ignite. I can't really tell on my screen. My team right now is getting a Baron. You know, we're getting like a super fast Baron. I can't really tell what the time is on is on my uh, little screen I'm watching through. But yeah, we get a Baron. Type in that worth in the chat in the alt chat. But yeah. So right there, use my advantage in the sense that I'm worth nothing right now. I'm worth like zero gold. I took one of the most fed carries out of the fight. I got my team a Baron in the sense that he what like Zed wasn't there and he's the most fed person on their team, I believe, or one of the most pe people that does the most damage. And we even got a kill and drinks after, so that's very worth. And that's like I said, even though I'm not carrying right now, I I'm doing the role. You know, I'm doing what I have to do because this Aurelia is gonna carry me. And as you can see, my team's fighting in mid right now and they just got a kill so it's easily a 4v4 if Zed stays so either I get a free turret or Zed comes here which you'll see him on the mini map right there in the uh, bottom side there and uh, so since he I know he's coming up here I decided to stick around not run away but I decided to stick around I'll get the tower so I get a tower my team is shoving in they're getting the enemy base I'm just gonna keep Zed occupied you'll see what I do here is I just keep Zed occupied he's trying to back right now and we get back to his team and I just kind of make myself look nice and juicy you know toss out Q keep him interested you know Keep him thinking, oh, maybe I'll get another free kill here, right? So it's always try to keep him interested, stop him from backing right here. I get a Q, and I think I even use my ulti right here to try and cancel it, get away. See, I'm just stalling. That's all you, That's all I have to do right here, because my team's getting two inhibitors off this. We'll get two inhibs total, so two inhibs for just me, plus the tower that I got and kills that my enemy or that my friendlies got, my teammates got, for just me helping out like, like that. And this next clip here, same game, like I said. I'm going to make myself look really juicy here and make the Zed go all in on me and take his focus completely off Dragon. And then after that, the fight, it's kind of an iffy fight because uh, Zed gets ulted back over the wall by Jana. But we get the kill here on the Jinx. So that's 80 carry for 80 carry so far. It's definitely worth because their Jinx is pretty fed right now. Not pretty fed, but she's 6 and 4, 6 and 3, I can't remember. But yeah, she's doing pretty good. And I start chirping the Zed in chat because uh, <laughs> that was pretty funny. I kept focusing me in. My team after that, we just clean house. You know, we get loads of kills coming up here and you'll see that we just clean up house and we actually do end up heading right up to the um through the bot lane and we get the nexus in the end because 
Shen, I guess for whatever reason, split pushing bot. And you'll see even here, I go and distract the Shen, you know. So that's just all this video is. It's very short, but all this video is is just kind of knowing when to carry. In this game, I didn't have to carry because I had the Irelia carrying me. So I knew that I was good to go and that I could just play more of a supportive role in the sense that I'm always looking juicy for that Zed and baiting him in or keeping keep them busy while my team gets other objectives. Right, right now, I'm going to walk up through all these minions and just auto Shen. Cancel the back. Game's over, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe for more episodes of this series and many of my other series. Peace.